This is a tale of Monozukuri creation of three children. A tale of user innovation. Once upon a time on a small island, in a beautiful town surrounded by mountains, sea, and hills, lived two brothers and their sister. Their names were Ichiro, Jiro, and Maru. Ichiro, the eldest brother, loved riding his bicycle. One day, Ichiro was inspired to go up the mountain on his bicycle. Can I go up to the top? When he gave it a try, it thrilled him. Ichiro bought a rigid frame, fat tires, and a motorcycle brake system and assembled his own mountain bicycle. Ichiro named it Alpine Bike. Alpine Bike soon became the talk of town. Cool! Looks fun! I want one too! Ichiro made bikes for everyone and they all had a terrific time going up to down the mountain trail. Alpine Bike became so popular that Ichiro decided to open a shop. Seeing the popularity of Alpine Bike, adults followed suit and began making and selling similar models. Ichiro continued to assemble and sell various models, but none sold that well. Soon after, Ichiro went bankrupt. All that remained were adult-run, mass-produced, low-cost Alpine Bike imitations. Ichiro's younger brother, Jiro, enjoyed roller skating around town on weekends. Skating day in and day out, Jiro became bored with the same routine. Oh, what would happen if I removed the wheels, put the wheels on a board, and rolled down from the top of the hill? That might be fun. It was lots of fun rolling down the hill. Jiro named his board Roller Board. Seeing Jiro's roller board, people came and asked Jiro to make boards for them. Soon, the town was filled with Jiro's roller boards. So many people asked him to make roller boards that Jiro decided to open his own roller board store. Jiro made other models, but his business did not turn out as expected. Along came adults making and selling similar roller board models. Eventually, Jiro's store failed. Maru was the baby sister. Maru liked math and enjoyed programming her own games on daddy's computer. One day, Maru was invited to go kite surfing. She was so fascinated by the feel of flying above water. Maru went kite flying every day. Maru wanted to share her excitement with others, so she hopped on the internet and began writing about her day. Maru then uploaded her original kite designs and offered free downloads of easy do-it-yourself design and test manufacturer application. Maru named it Magic App. Magic App became an instant hit. People all over the world visited her site and downloaded the Magic App to design and test manufacture their original kites. Maru did not sell do-it-yourself original kites to others. She was just happy to see people sharing the joys of kite surfing. But she would not bring herself to like the adults who tried to use her Magic App for their business. Taking note of his popularity, adults were obsessed with making money from the kites. So she launched a business to collect fees from those who sold kites using Magic App. Maru's company made a fortune on the huge royalties collected from adult companies and achieved great success. Ichiro and Jiro soon began to help Maru's business and they lived happily ever after. A tale 
of user innovation.